people. I am Jabby Kawai, joined by Sintel yeah, Kawai. We're looking at Rahul Dua's Jeans Stand-Up Comedy. Thanks so much for joining us. Glad to have you here. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, please. Bell icon, all notifications, and pretty please vote this up to let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. While you're subscribing and upvoting, subscribe to Rahul Dua. There's a link in the description below. You can click on that link, give the original video an upvote, and subscribe to him from there. Okie dokie. Let's jump into this. Jeans Stand-Up Comedy. Here we go. 20,000 rupees. I should spend the money also. Those subtitles are going fucking fast. Jesus. I can barely read them. It should come to me by itself uh, saying, okay. wear me. Oh, because he's saying they're so expensive. <laughs> it's like, it's so ridiculous. Few problems in life, guys. A few problems in life. Um, so what's anybody who body? Unable to, to what? Expand, expand his thinking. Is that what he said? I'm so sorry, guys, but this is going to be like this. For <laughs> like, so what's unable to expand body? my thinking. Okay. Huh. By God, बिल्कुल बड़ा सोच ही नहीं पा रहे हैं और जनता ने सोच वाले डिपार्टमेंट में बहुत तरक्की कर गई है. ठीक है. मतलब लोग सुबह घर से निकलते हैं ना कुछ अच्छा सोचते हैं, कुछ प्रोडक्टिव सोचते हैं कि आज दस बारह हजार की सेल ही कर देंगे. आज पांच सात सौ मरीज ही ठीक कर देंगे. हाँ मैं सुबह घर से निकलता हुआ यही सोच रहा हूं कि क्या ही कर लेंगे घर से निकल के <laughs> ऐसा घर की चार दीवारी में क्या उखाड़ा जो बाहर मोर्चा मारने जा रहे हैं <laughs> और जनता लाइक छोटी छोटी चीज के लिए प्रॉपरली एफर्ट मारती है मैं कुछ नहीं करता ठीक है लोग खुशियां ढूंढने के लिए कोई पहाड़ों पर जा रहा है कोई मेडिटेशन कर रहा है कोई बच्चे पैदा कर रहा है मतलब अपने अपने तरीके सबके भैया <laughs> मैं मैं कुछ नहीं मैं बैठा हूं if my papaya turns out to be sweet and ripe, oh. I get very happy. <laughs> oh, <is it> okay? <laughs> Little victories, small victories. Yeah, they go a long way. <laughs> this is redder than the red I've ever seen. And logon ke logon ki na soch badi hoga, logon ke sawal bade bade hoga. उतने भारी भारी मुश्किल मुश्किल सवाल पूछते हैं ना मतलब मुझे उनको देख के ऐसा लगता है कि हाई मैं क्यों नहीं सोच पा रहा है सब मम्मी मेरी डाइट में प्रॉब्लम है क्या कुछ डू यू एवर गेट दिस सॉर्ट्स ऑफ इनसिक्योरिटीज हियर्स वन आई आई एडमिट is uh Greg's partner on his channel John okay. Humphrey he speaks with these like thousand dollar words mm. all the time dude all the time and I'm watching like I watch their videos mm -hmm. frequently and I'm listening to the way John just strings together his thoughts and like these big words he's using and I'm like Oh, man, <laughs> I just I, I I just don't feel worthy. Like, <laughs> why is anyone listening to me talk? Listen to him. And, and whenever I hear people just con like in conversation dropping these huge words, I'm like, dang, I need to up my vocab game. I feel like a third grader compared to this person. <laughs> Similar to what he's saying, you know, I think about you know people's like objectives in the world mm -hmm. and whatnot. And sometimes I feel that way. Like, why am I gonna go outside today? <laughs> <Not> just stay. <laughs> you know, what's the point? <laughs> like, why is everybody? What is everybody doing on the road? I'm just trying to get a, a hamburger. What's everyone doing? <laughs> Where are y'all going? They look so focused and busy. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm just trying to figure out what to watch next on TV. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Bari bari sawal puchhe kare demonetization ke fayda nuksan batao. What are the pros and cons of demonetization? Yeah. How much should I tip the guy? <laughs> That does stop me sometimes where I'm like at a restaurant, I will literally sit and think about, okay, how is that service? And I'll like contemplate that for a while. More, and I should be giving that level of thought to Bitcoin <laughs> and to crypto. <laughs> Not to like, I feel like this is very relatable. Like I didn't know that they do the air pump thing at the, you guys have it different over there. Like you, you go to a different state in America and things are different. Like if you go to or Portland, mm -hmm. Oregon, or just Oregon right in general, you get your gas yeah. filled up. You, you can't do it yourself. They have, they have to pump the gas for you. And like I think that maybe tipping is part of the mm -hmm. whole thing. I don't know. I get very very uncomfortable around rich people. Okay. पर मैं उनको पता नहीं लगने देता कि मुझे अपना अपना सा लग नहीं रहे. That's how you do it. क्योंकि मैंने ना वो तीन चार शब्द सीख लिए. वैसा single malt. It's on the rocks. It's bourbon. 
मैं बढ़िया जेल वेल उठता हूँ उनके साथ सो री रिसेंटली आई वॉज एट दिस वेरी पॉश वेरी सोफिस्टिकेटेड हाउस वार्मिंग पार्टी इनके हाउस वार्मिंग हो रही है हमसे बर्थडे नहीं मनाया जा रहा ढंग से इनके हाउस गर्म हो रहे थोड़ा धड़ I'm sure everyone here has been to that house warming party. It is sophisticated. यहाँ कोई शराब पीता ही नहीं है ना क्योंकि यहाँ चलती drinks. Yeah. Cabernet, Merlot, Shiraz. <laughs> है क्योंकि इन parties की national language है English. Hindi में को बोलते मुर्गा बनाते हैं अगले. They give him a what? That house warming. You say. Uh, it's time oh, out. Okay, okay. So if you speak English in India, you're considered higher class, I guess. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I know that the, that's a thing in in different countries. Like in the Philippines, for instance, I think if you speak Spanish and English, you're considered more educated. In Japan, it's if you could speak anything but Japanese, it's you know, it's like oh, okay, <laughs> aren't you doing yeah, well for yourself? Special. Yeah, yeah, okay. exactly. What did he do? Uspe four five log, aisa sofa bate, drinks. Oh, one second, sofa nia, couch. Wo jiske ek side armrest dete hain. <laughs> Here we don't call it a, a, a footrest. We call it an ottoman. An ottoman. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Stush, stush. That's how you know you made it. You get. You get. That's how you know you got class. <laughs> it's. it's But over here, it's interesting that they say sofa and couch is considered the classier word because over here, the classier word is sofa. Yeah, it is flipped. Couch is more like I'm, I'm just couching, yeah. you know. Couch, couch surfing. surfing. Yeah. It, yeah. <laughs> There's you know, nothing like, regal you, about you know, like, couch surfing. What's interesting is that it's called couch surfing instead of sofa surfing because sofa surfing sounds like it's uh, it would go together better because they're both oh, S words. That's the safety of the sofa. Sofa surfing, you know. That's I, I'm going to try to I'm going to make that don't a do thing. that sofa surfing don't don't yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's the, that's what it's called henceforth hashtag sofa surfing I forgot what they call that extension for your legs on a couch I forgot what it's called it's something like that it's like some kind of sophisticated word if you know your shit really well your furniture really well but an ottoman <laughs> is the one that you can move around so just give one side armrest and the other side I'll forget वो पांचवा आदमी आधी कांड लेकर बैठा होता है आगे आगे ना याद आ गया ना सब दैट दैट इज वॉट आई टॉकिंग बाउट ठीक है दैट हाउस मॉन्ट बाड़े ठीक है तो पांच लोग ऐसा बैठे हैं ठीक है पांच लोग रिच मैं सुडो रिच मैं अपना साइड रिच मैं अपना बर्बन लेके जय श्री राम जय श्री राम करता मैं साइड सडनली सडनली फ्रॉम दिस कॉर्नर ओके दिस आदि गांड गाय दिस सुनो सुनो आगे फनी रुको अरे मैंने लिखा मुझे पता नहीं सुनना बहुत फनी सुन फ्रॉम 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 दिस कॉर्नर I don't know if that's just naturally how he is, but that feels very Kevin Hart to me. Oh, he's just laughing his own jokes. <laughs> Kevin Hart has that in his stand-up, and it works really effectively. At least in his older stand-up, where he used to, it makes him very relatable. That's I, that's I, it's a very very good tactic. This is breaking down comedy in a way, and I'm not a comedian, so I don't fuck know what I'm talking about. But I notice with Kevin Hart when he's on stage, like. He's talking to like a room full of like 10,000 mm -hmm. people, right? He goes, "Stop, stop, stop. You're making me laugh. Hold on. I got to get through this. You're making me laugh. Stop. Stop making me laugh." And it's like, "Who are you talking to? You're just talking to everybody." <laughs> <laughs> you know? But it makes it feel like he's talking mm -hmm. at you. You know? And I I think that's a good tactic. From from this corner, okay? From this corner, uh, this guy gets up. This this half ass guy. This gets up. <laughs> And and he goes like, <clears throat> and he goes like, guys, I need to buy a new pair of jeans, yeah. My old jeans is tattered. I'm like, oh, party go tattered, बोलते हैं. One learns new things every day. Yeah. Guys, I need to buy a new one. Uh, could you guys recommend some good brands? Personally, I'm bored of diesel, yeah. And just because everyone else was filthy rich, the names that came up as recommendations were the likes of Gap. And Armani, and Gucci, and CK, and whatnot. Okay, so Gap over here is actually like not the classiest of brands. It's a good brand, but just just like give give you guys perspective for mm -hmm. us. Like Gap is like that's where you go if you want to save some money <laughs> and and don't want to shop at like Old Navy. Uh, uh, what, 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 <laughs> old, old Navy is I, I consider Old Navy and Gap on par with each other. 
Is Old Navy yeah. lower yeah. than Gap? Yeah. Like Express is where I would go if I want to get something classier. Like that's not the classiest, but Express is definitely above Gap. Yeah. Like there's, you know, there's yeah, tiers. Yeah, yeah. There's levels so, to that. I would say Armani is above Express. Yes. Like that's, you, that's, that's uh, you know, up there. For me. But I, yeah, side better. sitting on the side. Uncomfortable to feel kare aaron. Ki ye, uh, I never even heard of Pepe Jeans. Yeah, Pepe Jeans is a big thing here in the States in the 90s. I don't know what they know. I'll tell you, one plus one, I'll tell you. Yes, that guy said to me, my budget is $20,000. Wow. What does that translate to? Now, at this very moment, my ass is tattered. That is still expensive. 20,000 mm-hmm. rupees. That is $263.48. Yeah, yeah, that's a pricey pair of jeans. Yo, I remember I was at the mall. This was ages ago, too. I was at the mall, and I saw this pair of jeans that just looked shredded, tattered. It looks like shredded, like all kinds of cut up holes everywhere. I'm like... Those barely look like they're holding together, to be mm. quite honest. To be completely frank, those don't even look like they should be worn. $200 for these jeans. I'm like, who? What the yeah. fuck? I don't understand. At the mall, I've seen some weird shit worth a lot of money, and I'm like, I don't understand yeah. why this has that much value. This is ready for jeans. Ten thousand per leg. Ten thousand per leg. <laughs> Ten thousand per leg. <laughs> God damn. You start to really break things down like that when you're thinking about money in this way. You know, like I've gotten a speeding ticket or something like that. I'm like, okay, that's about half an Xbox. <laughs> you start relating yeah. to other things. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's no, way the, there's no way the bike is that cheap. There's what no kind of way. Bike is, are you talking about like a motorbike or like a pedal uh, bike? I, I, oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. A motorbike. I, there's no <laughs> way. There's no way. Maybe. But I mean, maybe used. If you get, if you go, <laughs> if you get poor, you can go around. <laughs> it will take you from point A to point B and also give you mileage of 100 kilometers. If you go at board, okay, so sometime if the if he drives without a helmet, his mind will feel refreshed and some sense will get into his head. <laughs> okay, now that is funny. Because <laughs> <laughs> Mofo, what is he about to, what was he about to do? cash <laughs> <laughs> Did you no. catch that? He's like, imagine if I cl- <laughs> imagine if I uh, got twenty thousand rupees together to buy jeans, and he goes, I don't know why I'd buy it in cash. I'd probably buy it with a card. But anyway, <laughs> continues <laughs> on. I will go to and see the hospital. Doctor, my treatment is done. Something is wrong. And if I think I bought jeans in front of me, तो मेरी जीन से कुछ एक्सपेक्टेशंस होंगे नहीं कुछ उम्मीदें होंगी ना मेरी कि मुझसे बात करे राइट बहलाए फुसलाए रात में नगमा गुनगुनाए ऐसा रंग बदले काला लाल आहा ये चाहिए दिस दिस इज व्हाट आई वांट ऐसा नहीं कि 20000 की जीन खरीदने के लिए पहले पैसा भी मैं ही खर्च करूं फिर इसको पहनने के लिए एफर्ट भी मैं ही डालूं I will move out of my one BHK into two BHK, me and Jeans Preet. So uh, just to, I mean, you probably got it, but one BHK is like, I guess, like the, our equivalent of like one bedroom. Yeah. yeah. And then so two BHKs, two yeah, bedrooms. Yeah, you're going to pay that much for jeans. We in a relationship. Yeah, yeah exactly. Why is that jeans free? They're not showing any suit. 
She was very wet, no? The subtitles went by quick, making it a little bit harder to keep up, but I still enjoyed that nonetheless. I feel like I'm... I'm doing all right for myself in life. You don't work this much and you, I mean, I guess you could work this much and not be all right, but like, I work pretty hard. I feel like, I, you know, I'm one of the busiest yes. people you know. I feel pretty good about myself. And then I go hang out with people who have 10 times the amount of money I do. And it really humbles you. And it changes your perspective <laughs> a little bit. I was hanging out with two people who are, think they're both lawyers and they both own real estate. One guy was saying to my friend, like, so I'm looking for, and this is just casual conversation. They're just hanging mm. out. Like I'm on their vacation mm -hmm. and they're just hanging out talking. And the guy goes, yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm trying to invest in this property. It's a 300 unit place. What's the investment? And he goes, everyone has to put in um, 200K. And she goes, oh yeah, I can do that. Just casually, <laughs> just like nothing. Like she was pulling it out of her just, sock. Oh, here's. Ah, yeah. Your work. I'm like, am I in another dimension? Like, this is how people talk? <laughs> You're probably aware that people talk like this because like each level up, it's like what used to look like a lot of money, you get up there and it's like, oh, it's actually like now that's normal and you accept it as normal. Kind of like leveling up in a mm -hmm. video game. You know, like what looks unattainable and difficult, you get to that stage or that level eventually and you're like, okay, now this is just part of your mm -hmm. arsenal. And so I can get it conceptually, but it's still weird when you hear someone like dropping those kinds of numbers like talking about picking up some candy at a grocery store, like just whatever. Like this is how people function. Just like, oh yeah, y'all, I can throw in two hundred thousand dollars, whatever. <laughs> All right, keep it moving. So you wanna you wanna get some uh, a chicken salad? For <laughs> <laughs> like just like whatever. Right, right. <laughs> It blew my mind. And so the way he's talking about the people's, you know, with the brands and whatnot and how much it costs, like whatever, I can relate to that. I do feel that. That's completely separate from the vocabulary thing because the, oftentimes the people with the big vocabulary, the, I'm not finding that I encounter that kind of vocabulary around the, in here, around the people who have crazy right. money. The people who have crazy money talk actually quite normal. In my mm -hmm. experience, you wouldn't know that they're rich just based on their vocabulary. Right. That fish out of water thing is, is, is super real, you know, especially like if you've ever gone like drinking or hanging or hanging out and everything is just completely covered and you come from a space where you know you're over here counting like i think i can afford maybe three drinks and i'll buy my home girl one particular round and they're just like uh fighting over the bill at the end of the night and they're like no i'm gonna pay for everybody's drinks you're like this is like 50 drinks out here y'all are fighting for the bill it's really it's kind of yeah. it's kind of odd it's kind of weird and you're like i need to hang around y'all a whole lot more yeah, <laughs> so yeah. it's almost like insane insulting to be like let me try and pay for my stuff but but like you said you know they're, they're at a totally different level where you know frivolous stuff like that and jeans don't mean a damn thing you're talking some real truth there <laughs> i didn't come from money growing up you know i remember after gymnastics i i was friends with all the grown-ups and so every tuesdays and friday night i would hang out with the grown-ups afterwards like they'd all go to denny's or something like that which is like the worst thing you could eat after gymnastics <laughs> but anyway they all wanted to hang out and it's like, it's what we used to do back then. I was broker than a joke, but I was also a teenager. So it's like, why, you know, I didn't have a job. I was just in high school. I was just hanging out, this like kind of, you know, anyone, are you gonna eat that bread? <laughs> you're, gonna, you're gonna eat all them pancakes? <laughs> I'll take it, I'll take it. You know, if you, if, oh, you're gonna eat that? Okay, all right. My stomach's like growling. Um, they'd always, people would always feel bad for me and like give me something and hook me up. The food thing you're talking about, that's real. Um, I, I dated this one girl who I've talked about before mm. on this channel. She came for money, to okay. say the least. And she wanted, she always liked to get omakase, which is the, the expensive ass Japanese mm. dish. You basically go to the sushi restaurant and you, you drop easily $150 a person. And the, sh the chef just picks out whatever you're going to eat that night and you just got to mm. eat it. She would take me to omakase like a few times a week, every week. And I'm like, yo, like, I can't like cover this at all. <laughs> like, <laughs> you want to be like, I, I barely, out. wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. I barely, I, I barely got, I barely have two nickels to rub together. <laughs> like, I'm just trying to make sure I can pay my rent. And you're over here ordering food that basically costs as much as my rent each time we go out. Because at that time, my rent was like 400, $415 Jeez, a month. Us. Like, I, was, I, was living, I was living with, the, with mm -hmm. roommates. And like, yeah, the red, I mean, that was a pretty good deal mm. at the time. She's like, yeah, we're going to go to go omakase. I'm like, okay. She's like, don't worry, I got you. I feel weird after a while, you know? Whether it's someone Cry. you're dating or a friend you're hanging out with, 
you just feel weird after a while because like they're dropping all this dough and you can't really like match that other than like chuckles, <laughs> like other than personality. Great jokes to help pay for yeah. this meal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. I want you to uh, to normalize uh, sofa surfing. So yeah, it's gonna be the thing. hashtag sofa surfing. Y'all gotta say that in the in the comments below. Thanks so much for hanging out. Really, really appreciate y'all being here. Subscribe if you haven't already. Please hit that bell icon, all notifications, and vote this up to let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. I'm Jeff. Hey, it's your boy Sintel. Peace out.